All right, so I'm down here in Malibu, California today to look for radioactive tiles. Now, I wasn't really supposed to come down here today. I was supposed to go to Cinegear at the Warner Brothers uh, studio lot, but the traffic was so insane there that I just had the bail on it for today. I'm going to try and go back there tomorrow morning. And uh, since I have the day off, I figured I'd come down to Malibu. Now, Malibu has a pretty uh, long history, long in California sense, and uh, some of these buildings actually used radioactive tiles, and that kind of just shows how they were probably more than likely built here back in the 1930s. So I'm going to go uh, check out some of these tiles and uh, show one of those, because they're kind of cool. Hey! <laughs> uh, L.A. These tiles aren't dangerous. I just, I always have to say that. They're not dangerous. I mean, maybe if we're to grind them up and eat them, or maybe use them as a pillow for decades and decades, that might have some type of health repercussions for you. But as far as walking by them or being near them or working in the same building as them, you're at no risk of developing cancer, or getting radiation sickness, anything like that. It's just uh, uranium oxide in the glaze and it's not very penetrating. It doesn't have a lot of uh, gamma radiation. It's mainly alpha and beta radiation with a little bit of gamma sprinkled in there. But uh, let's try and get some readings off of these guys. So now I have to use the Rad IB20 to get a lot of these readings because it's mainly alpha and beta radiation. Whereas if I was using the Radicode, that'd be really good for like a gamma source. The Radicode will show the radiation on this, but not as uh, good as this uh, Rad IB20 because it has this pancake sensor here that can detect the alpha, the beta, and the gamma radiation. But since I have my Radicode 103G with me, might as well test it out. Now, not all of the tiles are, that are out here are going to be radioactive. Some are actually really good reproductions that look beautiful. There's actually a rug tile that's up here that looks pretty amazing and it be, would have been awesome if it was also radioactive but it actually isn't. It's uh, located here in this building behind me. Now this used to be I believe the Malibu County Courthouse. I, I think it's a historical landmark but right now I think there's like a like a hair salon or something like that inside of here. Uh, let's go check it out. Now these are not original. These are actually a reproduction. And the reason I know that is because they're not radioactive. But they still look really cool. It's an extremely beautiful piece of work. Which goes to show that the tiles don't have to be radioactive for them to be beautiful. I just find it very fascinating that they can be radioactive and beautiful at the same time. The 
ones on the water fountain are original Malibu pottery tiles that were used to make that water fountain. I know that because they're uh, made using uranium, and that's a great way to date tiles. So, very cool stuff. All right, well, now I'm done with that. Tomorrow, Cinegear. Check out some lenses and see if I can find some radioactive glass there.